You know, before the show started, our anchor Jordan Smith called the Kibbe Dome the eighth wonder of the world. And guess what? I dare anyone to argue against that after today. And it's been a long time since the Idaho Vandals have been this good that the seven other wonders of the world were still standing at that point. Of course, just like the Great Pyramids, people have been wondering how is this even possible? The Vandals coming into this weekend four and two and unbeaten in Big Sky play, which means they control their destiny at this point. But could they stop an upstart Portland State team? before it comes crumbling down to the ground, just like the great gardens of Babylon. Anyway, in the second quarter, we're tied up at 14 and quarterback Dante Chachira keeps the ball in the uh, on the option and gets the score in the Vikings with a seven point lead. So the Vandals looking for some points before the break and on fourth down, they go to Giovanni McCoy. He's gonna scramble for 13 yards and get it. And the drive keeps going. Very next play, McCoy's going to go over the middle, hit Jermaine Jackson, makes the defender whiff off the tackle, and he's got the touchdown as we are all tied up going into the break. After a bit of a shaky start, the defense of the Vandals definitely stepping up in the second half. This is Leo Tamba coming in for the big sack. Then on the very next play, Vikings facing a third down. Tamba again coming in hot. Portland State just unable to move the ball in the final two quarters. And that would play into Idaho's advantage in the red zone. McCoy connects with with Hayden Hatton who gets the one handed catch and the one foot down unbelievable touchdown if that's not sports center top 10 it's a crime quite frankly then in the fourth Idaho on the march again this time Roshan Johnson making a little nice move and he's in for the first of his two touchdowns on the day and the route was officially on in Moscow Idaho scoring 42 unanswered points to blow out their big sky foe and the offense of the Vandals woof. 571 yards on the day as they look very impressive going into the final month of the regular season. And don't look now, but a berth in the playoffs isn't out of the realm of possibility here. Our Julian Minnesota has more from the Kibbe Dome. Idaho is looking to add 2022 to that football championship banner. The Vandals score 42 unanswered points from the second quarter through the second half to keep pace atop of the Big Sky Conference standings. Credit to these players, man. They, they've worked hard and they've believed, and I, I think we're a confident team that uh, I, I told them this week, I, there, there's no ceiling, I think, what this team can do. we got to keep getting better and, and uh, keep improving, but I think when we play the way we're capable of, we're going to be able to play with anybody in uh, FCS football. State had no answer for the Vandals offensive attack. Idaho tallied 571 yards of offense behind quarterback Giovanni McCoy. We stepped up probably our effort, stepped up our execution, and uh, you know just got back to playing Vandal football. I think the second half is how we want to play. It wasn't just the offense. The Vandal defense stepped up with three interceptions. <laughs> something they've been emphasizing all season. It fits up and we're in good position. We're always going right after it. And it's just preached every day that getting the ball back to the offense by takeaways is something that's huge. It wins people games. We've done a great job with it. And I think that's part of why we've won. We're 4-0 right now in conference as we keep going after it. And with the victory, Idaho improves to 4-0 in conference play for the first time since 1994. And this sets up a showdown against Sacramento State next week on the road. Kickoff scheduled for 6 o'clock. In Moscow, Julian Minnesota for News Now Sports.